I'm really proud of the fact that Fujitsu has had an apprentice scheme in place for 25 years. So this isn't something that's new to us. And as a leader in technology, it's really, really important that we retain that position. And the way that we do it is by bringing in fresh thinking, innovation, great ideas, agility. And the apprentice scheme is one way of being able to do that. Speaking as, a, as an ex-apprentice, um, having joined um, Fujitsu many years ago, I think that the scheme is absolutely fantastic. It gave um, me an opportunity in a career where I had no background, no skills or no previous knowledge and you had all of the training both in terms of technology and with customers to be able to do a role which probably would have been outside of my sphere of thinking when I was initially looking at the job options available to me. The current scheme within Fujitsu is for, for young entrants to join us with a view of having a career in Fujitsu. Each year about 70 to 90 people will be joining us so at any one time we have 150 people who are part of the apprenticeship scheme and once they complete it we want them to stay and be part of our business. The sorts of roles that they'll be doing vary from software development and infrastructure support so quite technical roles or more functional ones like HR, marketing, finance. So it really is across the whole business that we bring apprentices in and develop them. So Andy, what do you think are the real challenges now for, for people who are leaving school? I think there's uh, numerous challenges that people face today. And I think that it's understanding that when you're at such a young age, what do mm. I want to do in the future? Yeah. And I think many people have an uncertainty about where they see their longer term future. We have to kind of unbundle the confusion and show people that there is a longer term opportunity and make it simple for people to make that transition. Yeah, I agree. I think that it's really tricky that if you're just leaving school, um, you might read about different jobs in, in the press or yeah. being able to research things online or chat to people that you know, but you never really know what a job's about until you're actually doing it. And I think an apprenticeship scheme is a good way of doing that because you still get to do your, your education, so you continue that, but at the same time you get some, some real experience. I can absolutely relate yeah. to that because um, when I joined, I was in, I would say, slight competition mm. with graduates um, after a number of years through career progression. But actually, as you tend to spend longer in the organisation, you can kind of see the benefit of the mix. And I think so what's really important is somebody taking a chance on you, whatever route that's <laughs> through. Um, so myself, having been joined as a technology company and spent a while in human resources, I think that we're trying to attract people into Fujitsu and get them to buy into the vision of Fujitsu and they can play a part in that organisation. But actually the diversity of roles and the career options, mm -hmm. because we see it all of the time um, with the professional community structure, people move between different roles and the company supports and actively supports that. For some people, <coughs> the, the technical route really calls out to them. For other people, they feel slightly daunted by it. It sounds quite scary um, in terms of something to go into. And I think what's really important is to be thinking about what is it that the technology is enabling Absolutely. and just how cool it is in terms of how technology shapes people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. So, so joining someone like Fujitsu isn't just about um, the technology side of it, it's actually thinking about the experiences that you could then be creating for people by being part of the company. And technology is going to be the part of everybody's life in the internet of everything. So as we move forward, it's how do people shape the lives of the rest of the world, the organisation and society that I think is really the kind of the exciting bit. So, so what advice would you give somebody who's now thinking about their choices? Do some research on where you've got a, a diverse role a opportunity, diverse roles that could exist. Don't sort of compartmentalise yourself and try things. Joining a larger organisation can come with the benefits of being able to do that in one company rather than having to move between companies. If you, if you just give it a go, then you'll rule some things in about what you like and rule some things out. And if you, and if you don't give it a go, you'll always be wondering. So technology is a really fast-paced industry. It's the industry that's really changing and shaping how people choose to live their lives on a daily basis. So for me, it's a place of innovation, excitement, creativity, and is the place to be. 
technology is going to shape uh, the future of everybody's lives. Um, it's continually changing and gives opportunities for people to continually challenge and learn in the future. I think it's so diverse uh, in terms of what it offers people. They've absolutely got a career that they can build on in, in an organisation around IT. It's absolutely here to stay and I think people should just get on the bandwagon.